Good afternoon, Chad. Uh, my name is Leonard Parker. Uh, you invited me to your job post for SEO on Upwork. I uh, just wanted to create this uh, quick video audit just to share with you some areas of opportunity I'm seeing with your website's SEO. Now, just a disclaimer, uh, these are my recommendations as an outside, outside observer. So, of course, they don't incorporate any context, context as far as your business priorities and um, you know what you're really looking to achieve with your SEO uh, over the next several months and, and longer. So I jotted down a few things that I saw, so I'm going to be referring to my notes throughout this video. So the first thing I noticed when I reviewed your website, uh, these page titles here, so if you're not familiar with page titles um, or they're also called title tags. Um, this is a little box that popped up here. So for your home page, it says home, which makes sense. However, it's not the best for SEO. In your page titles, uh, you want to include a target keyword for that page. And since you're focused on the Baton Rouge area, um, Baton Rouge, and then you know, a pipe symbol or a hyphen, and then Wahaya. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly, but uh, Wahaya. And an example a title tag for your homepage uh, would, would be something like uh, Wahaya, and then pipe symbol or hyphen, and then IT services Ben Rouge. Um, and I would go through each of your pages and make sure that that's incorporated in all of the pages. Some are better than others. But for example, your IT company page, you know, I would just add your company name here in the title tag. And that's just good for branding. And then for cybersecurity and compliance, you know, again, I would add Baton Rouge here and then also your company name. But the reason why that's important, Chad, is that that's one of the key areas that Google crawlers reviews to figure out what the page is about and how to categorize it on different search engine results pages. So that is one area of opportunity. Uh, that I do see for your site. Now, overall, you know, I'm not sure if this is due to the, the the competitive market in Baton Rouge, but you are doing very well. So IT services Baton Rouge, you're at the top of the map pack. Um, so that's great. And you're also here, first page on organic uh, clock computing. Uh, I believe you're also in the map pack. Yep, number one there. Um, I'm not sure if you're listing organic listings. And then cybersecurity, Baton Rouge. Uh, number three in the map pack, so still pretty good. And um, yeah, you're down here further down on the on the list in organic. And then finally, manage IT services, Baton Rouge. Not in the map pack and... Yeah, it doesn't look like you're in a, on a first page either. So I think the first step would be really figuring out what are your priority services, you know, mapping those services to keywords that people are looking for. And then that's the, that would be our priority moving forward. Um, but overall, you are you know, showing some good visibility for some targeted keywords. Um, so moving on. Uh, your site architecture, I was a little confused about. Um, so I know that you have some blog pages. I did a, a little research here. Let's see, yeah. So let's take this one, for example. Okay, so I'm assuming this is a blog article, but I'm not really sure because um, it's showing uh, for managed service provider, uh, but I'm not really sure how you're structuring your website. So maybe you can provide some clarification on this, but going back to the homepage, ideally you would have a structure where you would treat each of these primary services as a silo. And pretty much any content related, for example, to managed services, whether it's your your sales page, your landing page, or your blog articles, all of those would be interlinked together 
and then all within that managed services silo. And why this helps is that over time, as you build out more content, more blog articles for managed services, uh, that will increase the improve the topical authority for your website for managed services. And of course, we'll be, we will also be optimizing for Ben Rouge. And that will make it easier for your pages to rank. And over time, your, your, rankings, your rankings will increase and your site will be more visible. And the way you would structure that in your URL would be something like this. So let's say we're talking uh, managed services. So maybe you want to put manage IT services. And then you would put whatever the title of the article is. Um, but you don't want to repeat anything that's already there. So title of article. And yeah, the key part there is manage IT services. You might even want to throw Baton Rouge in there as well. Um, and again, you want to make sure that all of those articles that are under the manage IT services bucket are actually interlinked together. Okay. So yeah, I'd see that as actually a big area of opportunity for your website. Uh, now moving on to off your website. So I took a look at your Google My Business profile. So good job getting uh, two five-star reviews there. Uh, reviews, especially good ones, there's one of those things where you can never have enough. So uh, yeah, just continue to uh, solicit and get reviews to your Google My Business profile. Not sure what's going on here. We go. And yeah, and so right now there are two features that are actually disabled due to the COVID situation. So there's really no timeline on when these features will be re-enabled, but just something to keep on your your radar are is the Google Q and A section. So people can actually go to your Google My Business profile and ask questions, and then you come back in and respond to them. Now, what you want to do here, you can actually you know, build out a list of questions yourself and then go into the back and and actually uh, answer those questions. You know, so maybe answer the questions from a different Google My Business pro, uh, Google uh, account and then go back and answer those those same questions. And what this would do would help your Google My Business listing show up for long tail phrases. Um, so I, I would say a good place to start would be the people also ask section. So sometimes that shows up. Uh, so why don't we do, let's take out Baton Rouge and do just cloud computing services. So what I would do is take a look at this people also ask snippet. So these are questions that people have ask that are related to cloud computing services. Now, some of these won't be really relevant. Um, so yeah, this one actually looks like a lot of general, but if you start general, start drilling down on these arrows, you're gonna get more specific, um, more specific questions. Uh, so this might be too general, not really commercial based, but you know, kind of that would be the idea. You know, taking some of your services, go into the people also ask section and look at what questions people are asking. Um, now, moving back to your website. So the last thing I wanted to go over were your backlinks. So I saw that you're doing a really good job managing your citations. Looks like through Yext. Um, one thing you want to look at are your backlinks to the site. So these are the the websites that are linking to you. So you do have a few good ones here, wahaya.net. I'm not sure, if I'm, 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 I'm gonna guess that's some, a website that you also own. Uh, but you wanna look at you know, two things for your, web, your backlinks. Number one, um, is it coming from a good authority website? So not some website that you know, I threw up yesterday and linking to you. And then number two, is it actually relevant to either your business, the businesses of your uh, your customers, or Baton Rouge, and at a larger scale, Louisiana. And if it doesn't fall into one of those three buckets, it's probably not really relevant to your website. And so it, you know, it would be advised that one, not try to not go after those backlinks. And if you do have any of those backlinks, consider doing a link disavow. 
Um, so kind of just going through this list here, you do have, like I said, some good links, but uh, you have some links from, it uh, looks like from Belgium, from Australia. So unless you have customers in those, um, in those locations, these probably wouldn't be the best links for your site. Um, and then of course, you know, we first will want to clean up those backlinks and then number two, build new backlinks to your site. And what I, you know, the, the, the process I would take is basically looking at the top three to five websites that are all ranking you for target keywords and then doing a backlink gap analysis where you figure out what are the websites that your competitors are getting links to links from that you're not. And if it is possible, going out and getting backlinks from those same websites. And if it's not possible, try to find websites that are, again, authoritative and uh, relevant and actually have the same metrics as far as the main authority and getting links from those sites. And really, you want to close that gap. And that, that would be a great way to boost your visibility, but also to increase the referral traffic to your website. Um, and the last thing I wanted to ask about here, you know, I saw that you had these tags, these links um, on your on your pages. So I uh, really would like to understand the rationale there. You know, my concern when I review the page is that with the length of content here, there's not a ton of content here. You're seeing Ben Rouge an awful lot. And I get it. You're you're linking to these tag pages. But what I'm concerned is that over time, you do run the risk of getting uh, penalized on this page because you're, you're essentially keyword stuffing for Baton Rouge. So I uh, would love to know your rationale behind that. But otherwise, that wraps up my video uh, chat. I do hope it has been helpful and you, uh, you know, you did get something out of watching this video. Um, now, all of these things I mentioned, my team and I, we can definitely clean up. Uh, so that you are in you know, better SEO shape moving forward. Uh, and if you are interested in a call, I'm happy to chat sometime this week. So thanks for watching again and have a great rest of your Wednesday.